Making a timer is really easy in Godot. All you need is this timer node, so let's add that into the scene. This node has bunch of properties, so let's take a look at each of them. First, we have process callback, and it has two options, idle and physics. Idle updates the timer every process frame, and physics updates the timer every physics process frame. Next, we have wait time property, which is essentially the time required for the timer to end in seconds. You can set this time as you need. Next, we have one shot property, which lets you stop the timer after it reaches zero. By default, the timer restarts after it's finished. Then we have auto start property, which starts the timer automatically at the scene start. And finally, we have ignore time scale property, which as the name suggests, ignore the engine's time scale. So the timer speed is always same regardless of the game's time scale. Now let's see how we can do something after the timer ends. The timer node emits a signal when it reaches zero. So we are going to connect the timer signal to this script. In this callback function, you can do anything that you want after timer ends. Let's print timer ended. And I'm going to also enable the auto start property. So the timer starts automatically at the scene start. As you can see, timer ended is printed each time the timer ends. You can enable one short to make the timer stop after ending for the first time. Now, let's see how the ignore time scale option works. I am going to change the time scale to 0.2 in the ready function. And let's see how the timer runs with the option disabled. The timer takes a lot longer to go from 1 second to 0. But if we enable the option, the timer runs normally regardless of the time scale. Now there are some other properties of the timer node that can be helpful. First is this time left, which returns the timer's time. Next, you can also start the timer from code if you want to by just using timer's start method, which also takes an optional time second parameter. This time will override the timer's wait time property. And that's everything about timer node in Godot.